To get the most out of this video, you'll need two essential items, a Steam account and a couple of friends. I can't tell you where to find the second one, but I will help you find some free games to play with your friends. If you want to have an experience close to Brokeback Mountain with your friends, the shooting part, of course, Fistful of Frags is still one of the best FPS games out there. But it's not a game where you can spray and pray. Rather, it's a game where you stand your ground and take a calculated shot. Even with its slow-paced, heavy gunplay, when you finally hit your shot, it's an instant dopamine hit, like going to Tahiti with your boys. Drunken Wrestlers 2 is like that movie where you meet a guy and start to fight in the street to escape your demons and ultimately destroy Western civilization. It might be one of the most fun fighting games I've played in recent years. To really get the full experience, I wanted to play with a friend, until I remembered I don't have any. But after facing the harsh truth, I dove into multiplayer lobbies where I got beaten up by random people. So, it brought back good old memories of high school. Gladio and Glory is where you grab a buddy, chop his head off with a giant sword, and yell to the crowd, Are you not entertained? The physics engine and ragdoll effects make it super fun to play and goof around. Assault Bots is a truly underrated gem. It was perfect. It might easily be the most fun shooter in this video. It has great mechanics, amazing gunplay, and allows for different play styles. You can be a light tank or a flying plane, and there are lots of attachments and gun options and maps. It's just pure fun. Sky Children of Light is the game where I can chase people around with a candle, desperately begging to be their friend, while they run away in terror. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And even if you want to strengthen your bond with them, you have to pay real life money. Because nothing says friendship like a microtransaction, just like real life. Jokes aside, I like this game very much. It's cozy, cute, and perfect for mindlessly wandering around with friends, just like real life. So grab a friend or two and dive into Sky's cute story and setting. Highly recommended. Jelly Brawl Classic is a game where you're a ball trying to push other balls off a platform. There might not be a ton of content to discover, but it's perfect for a quick, hilarious session with friends. Clearly, the developer had some serious balls to play with when making this one. Beavers Be Damned is a cute game where you and a friend play as beavers carrying boats and logs. It's local co-op only, but perfect if you have buddies over and want some chaotic fun for a couple of hours. Stumble Guys is a game where you boost your ego by obliterating 12-year-olds trying to play the game on their mom's phone. Back in the day, there were some real players adding a challenge. Nowadays, I'm either facing bots or I've simply become an unstoppable force. <laughs> Grapples Galore is where you turn on the monkey brain and swing around like there is no tomorrow. It has some moments where you can truly get a dopamine hit just by destroying people with an RPG to the face. Small-sized, funny game, enjoyable for a couple of hours. Microworks might be one of the most fun games to play with friends, because it's more than just a single game, it's dozens of different games combined. The fast pace keeps you on your toes, and the mini-games are incredibly enjoyable. Even playing solo with random people is a blast. Give it a try. One-Armed Robber shares the same DNA with its cousin, One-Armed Cook. But instead of cooking meals, you're cooking up robbing plans in this one. If you and your friends need a handful of a co-op stealth experience, this game might be the helping hand you need. With a handful of gameplay styles, you'll need to handle the situation with care. Sometimes things might get out of hand, but that's the handy part, so give it a hand. Sometimes you come across a game and wonder how it's not more popular, and Gravity is exactly that. It has everything you could want from a co-op game. Fast-paced action, physics-based gameplay, local and online multiplayer, and tons of fun. You can throw crates, barrels, and bombs at each other. It also has various game modes and different maps. Overall, it's a pretty awesome. Give it a try. Think of Polygon as a bite-sized battlefield with all the good stuff and none of the flying boat parts. You can jump into action across a variety of maps, customize your loadout with guns and attachments, and relive those sweet vibes of classic Battlefield titles in a low-poly environment. If you're itching for a fun, friend-filled FPS experience that's easy on your hard drive, Polygon is a top choice. Combat Master is like the lightweight cousin of those huge FPS games, 
but without the 200 gigabytes downloads or sacrificing your household income for battle passes. I'm especially hooked on its Combat Zone Battle Royale mode. It's pure, fast-paced, dopamine-pumping action. So if you can't stop yourself from scrolling social media and have an attention span shorter than a TikTok video and need a super speedy FPS experience that'll run even on a potato PC, Combat Master is your jam. Wizard combat is what would happen if Hogwarts turned into a chaotic battle royale FPS lobby. Forget boring guns! Here we're talking Expelliarmus, Wingardium Leviosa, and my personal favorite, the Subscribe spell. As a certified wizard myself, I gotta say this game's a blast. PvP is a bit of a ghost town, but grab your friends and some bots and you'll still have a magically chaotic time. We Were Here is a co-op puzzle game that traps you and a friend in a frozen castle. Your only means of communication is through walkie-talkies. Use your wits and a mysterious book to solve puzzles and find your way out. Highly recommended for anyone looking for a short but intense co-op adventure. Supreme Fighter is an arcade brawler with a non-healthy dose of button smashing to beat the living daylights out of your friends. It has a very unique visual design, but since it's a free game and takes up less space than your homework folder, you might as well give it a try. Just don't break every button on your keyboard in a fit of rage. BombBots Arena is a more advanced version of Bomberman with couch co-op, online battles, and even a battle royale mode. There's not much else to say. It's an exceptionally well done and polished Bomberman clone to play with friends. Totomori is a game where you try to knock down each other's towers in a sweet and fast-paced world. It's got cute graphics, catchy tunes, and easy-to-learn controls, plus with different maps, customizable time limits, and even local multiplayer which allows you to play with a single keyboard, it's an underrated gem, go and play it. Tabji is like real life. You spawn in, you head dive to the map, you don't get good loot, and you get destroyed by wonky men. But hey, at least it's free unlike real life. This is a battle royale for people who think other battle royales are way too serious. Instead of playing against tryhards in PUBG, those who camped out so long they might as well get the deed to their house, in PUBG almost everything is fun and wonky. It's a game that doesn't take itself seriously and has that pure fun. The final game on this list is The Finals, and let me tell you, it's better than my university finals in every way imaginable. Firstly, everything in this game is destructible just like my GPA after midterms. Whether you want to go full Rambo, sneaky sniper, or charge in wielding a comically large spoon, because why not? This game has it all. It's 10 times the fun with friends, and the updates keep rolling out faster than excuses for not studying. If you're looking for a truly chaotic FPS experience, this is finally a good one. Before ending this video, I can already see the future comments like, why isn't a masterpiece like Counter-Strike 2 on this list? Well, let's just say I tried playing it with a friend. We matched against guys spinning like helicopters, wiping out everyone in milliseconds. Turns out they were just really, really excited about their new gaming chairs.